Tiki Barber. When have you heard Tiki Barber to come out with some spicy words? We've seen some spicy actions, but not no spicy words. We've certainly seen some spicy circumstances with Tiki Barber, but never spicy words, right? Well, he has some spicy words for Ryan Clark because Ryan Clark has some words for Tiki Barber. So let's listen to Tiki Barber respond to his former teammate. Y'all forgot his former teammate, Ryan Clark, talking about Tiki Barber. Wow, Ryan Clark, you are making blank up. Because you don't know me like that, dude. Like, what is he like, talking about? I didn't embrace young players. Ask Brandon Jacobs if I embraced him. Now that he's the big wig at ESPN, he thinks he can just take shots and his word is gospel? He's making a story that fits his agenda. And he doesn't know me well enough to talk about me. So shut the hell up, Ryan Clark. Please. You sound like a fool. If you think it's cool and trendy, to make me the bad guy because it makes you cooler and trendier? By all means, shoot away, Ryan. He's uninformed. He doesn't know me that, he doesn't know me like that. Mm. Don't talk about me like that because you don't know Ooh. me like that. You don't know my relationships with my team, my former teammates, the organization, but you act like you know. You speak in a nice, calm, controlled way and give this like perfect, troll job not even troll job but kill job of me and it's not true it's an opportunistic shot that he's taking because he thinks that he's going to gain advantage by being a jackass to me congratulations ryan good luck in your career as well he finally got that curse word out he was waiting he started off saying blank then he said what he said freaking <laughs> he finally said jackass Oh, he went there on his former teammate because his former teammate went there on him. Okay, let's give you some layers to this one right here because Tiki Barber was pissed. Making me late for my tea time. That's what Tiki Barber thinking. Okay, so Ryan Clark used to play there with the Giants, obviously, when Tiki Barber was there. But you got to know the devil's in the details. So Tiki Barber at that time was still a beast, but wasn't at his peak powers. It wasn't full Tiki Torch just yet when Ryan Clark was there. Ryan Clark also wasn't the starter. He started a few games, like four games in two years, but wasn't Ryan Clark yet. So we ain't on the same level. So guess what? We ain't seeing things the same way. Oh, I've been there before. You ever been there when you're looking at somebody and you measuring them from a distance and from that distance, you come to a different conclusion than when you are on their level or when you're in their shoes. Remember those moments? You're sitting there as a freshman looking at the seniors like, why they ain't even tripping? Why they doing that? Why they doing that? Wait till your ass is a senior. <laughs> when you're a senior, all the freshmen looking at you like, why you act like that? Why you act like that? There's so many things at play right here. So Ryan Clark's like, Tiki Barber, you weren't good to your young teammates. You didn't embrace us. First of all, fool, I ain't got to embrace anybody. Can we stop in professional athletics? Like, can we stop? in the professional real world that this whole embracing somebody to come take my job or come take another person's job on this on his team that is my boy is not exactly in the contract it's on you look survival of the fittest to get to the league now we are all on the same team and let's be real we didn't pick this we didn't choose to be here they chose us they drafted us so now we all forced draft forced to be here free agency for some of us most of us forced to be here you think i'm forced to work with you you think i'm forced to embrace you you think i'm forced to give you opportunities to come take from me or mine nah b it's not like that so that's not even a negative when i first met bruce smith when i was a rookie he wasn't forced to help me that was on his own volition he was waiting to see one was i cool enough two was i good enough then he like all right we're going to kick it. We're going to roll together. I'm going to let you know some of the trades of this craft, some of the secrets of this game. But until then, man, if you don't earn them strikes, ain't nobody giving them to you, and nor should they. So I don't like this whole embrace rookie stuff. Matter of fact, I am a supporter of the old school where you haze they ass, whoop they ass, duct tape them. I don't care what you do to them. Mess with them. That's how the game should go. Then you earn your stripes. Then we do something. But Ryan Clark was only with the Giants for two years. 
So like, embrace what? As soon as I, I go to hug you, you're gone. That's part one. Part two is, what Ryan Clark is saying, does land easily to all of us, conveniently for all of us, because most of us don't know Tiki Barber. I do. But if you don't know Tiki Barber, all you know is what you read about him. All you know is, oh, you were talking trash about Eli. Next thing you know, Eli wins not one, but two Super Bowls. You were talking trash about the organization. Oh, you leave and they win Super Bowls. So it's already easy fire on Tiki Barber. Now, you actually know him if you're Ryan Clark. Oh, and you got some evidence, whether it was distant, because remember, you were a young pup. He was a big dog. You don't see it the same. Or, man, so homie told me this. My teammate told me this. I saw it from over there that he did that. And then that's, guess what? We all sitting here like, I wonder if it's true or false. Oh, yeah, you did hear Tiki Barber say that. Now was wrong. You did see Tiki Barber do that. Now was wrong. He did leave his wife and that was wrong. He, like, she was pregnant. That was wrong. So you start adding it all up and circumstantial evidence has already damned Tiki Barber. Y'all catch that? I caught that. We all caught that, right? Sometimes we don't even slow down enough to stop and think. Is he telling the truth about this? Or is it because of all of that, we just believe that this is true as well? Guess the difference. Is he telling the truth about this? He was a bad teammate, didn't embrace. First, embrace another grown man that's a rookie that don't even play your position. Embrace what? Oh, you embrace everybody. Tiki like, yo, Brandon Jacobs, line one, what you want to say? But is this true? Or because all of that is true, this has to be true. I just want everybody out there to kind of stop and pause when these stories start to happen. Because I wasn't on the Giants in 0203. I wasn't there when they was doing their thing. So I don't know the details of this. All I know is that when you're in the media, like both of them are, and we don't know the details, so we don't know where the devil is, sometimes it sticks his horns where we know the circumstances have taken us. Just know, each and every one of these conversations, different. So... Tiki is uh, Tiki is well polished, calculated, sophisticated. Let's go there, right? Ryan Clark is sophisticated as well, calculated, but in a, a way that's not as genuine. Like Tiki Barber is gonna do Tiki Barber. <laughs> like even if it's a crash and burn, it's Tiki Barber. Ryan Clark, not the same. Ryan Clark will do other things. He will do Ryan Clark and whatever else is gonna help him get what he got to get to become more Ryan Clark. So you see the difference. So I don't know. I ain't got a verdict on this one because I wasn't there. Uh, but Tiki went from blank to jackass. He must be mad at something. Maybe Ryan did hit a button or two. Y'all figure it out in the comments. Beat it up. Have some fun.